Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, folks. Natasha Vasona here on Sugar Beach with my popcorn in hand, trying to find a seat for the seventh annual Sail in Cinema, a unique experience where you can watch a movie from both the land and the water. Grab your popcorn, grab your loved ones, and don't forget your bum box. Tonight's feature film, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And the best part, you get to watch it on a four-story inflatable double-sided screen, one of the biggest in the world. So you can kick back and relax on the sand or cast your anchors away and listen from a radio frequency on the water. That's exactly what Cordy Beale's doing. He's part of the boating community whose season was cut short due to inclement weather and high water levels. He's just glad to get back on the water and celebrate what's left of summer. It's something like, unlike anything else to be able to, to boat in and, and drop an anchor and, uh, and watch a movie. Unlike anything else, you don't see it every day, right? So pretty neat. And it's safe to say he won't have to worry about anyone blocking his view. Dr. Jones. As for those on the land, I hope you came early. The best seat right now, you're right in front of it. You know, how long, what, what time did you get here? Uh, 6.30. I came straight from work. I came from downtown, so I got all my stuff. Didn't wanna miss I didn't want to miss anything. I got my seat, I signed up for prizes. I'm here, it's really great. It's a great thing that they're doing. And for some visiting out of town, it's an experience they just couldn't miss. We're from Dublin, so I mean, uh, we don't have anything like this really, so it's good to get out in the sun and just be able to sprawl out and have a bit of fun. The three-day event is organized by Ports Toronto. It all started when they celebrated their centennial. It then became an opportunity for people to visit and rediscover the harbour front. And it's done just that. Last year, the event drew 10,000 people. It wasn't always the case that you wanted to come to the waterfront. The waterfront used to be kind of industrial, maybe not a place you wanted to visit. So initially, it was a bit of a pull to try to get people down here. Now we have so many great things. We have great restaurants, great stores, great services. Everyone wants to come to the waterfront, so now it's a bit of an easy sell. For Deborah Wilson, this city tradition is even more important. Toronto hasn't seen the greatest of summers. For the first kind of six weeks of summer, a lot of the boating community was quite frustrated with, with the water levels, which was of no one's making. It was just the way nature works. Um, so with the water levels now returning to a more normal level and a lot of the um, facilities available to service the boating community, it's a great opportunity to get in your boat and come out to something like this. Now, if you didn't get a chance to catch tonight's movie, that's okay. There's another screening tomorrow night. They'll be playing Beauty and the Beast. And on Sunday, they'll be playing Edward Scissorhands, a makeup for a Thursday screening, which was canceled because of the active weather. Now, if you excuse me, I'll get back to the movie. My favorite scene's about to go on. On Sugar Beach, I'm Natish Bissono, City News.